Hi everyone, my name is Joel and I'm from the Niobe Zoo. And we're gonna read you a story today from our Animal Tales series that we do here at the zoo. And today's story is Miss Spider's Tea Party. Some people are kind of nervous about spiders and I think we're gonna learn something a little bit different about them. This story is by David Kirk. All right. One lonely spider sipped her tea while gazing at the sky. She watched the insects on the leaves and many flying by. If I had friends like these, she sighed, who'd stay, with, stay a while with me, I'd sit them down on silken chairs and serve them cakes and tea. Two timid beetles, Ike and May, crept from the woodwork that same day. But when Miss Spider begged, please stay, they shrieked, oh no, and dashed away. They were afraid of the spider. But she looks really friendly with her tea there, right? Three fireflies flew inside that night, their spirits high, their tails alight. They spied the web and squeaked in fear, we'd better get away from here. The little trio did not feel they'd care to be a spider's meal. Look, they're glowing and they're like, oh no, and they flew away. Four bumblebees buzzed by outside. Please come to tea, Miss Spider cried. The four ignored her swaying there. She waved a tea towel in the air. She took a cup and tapped the glass. Then one bee spoke to her at last. We would be fools to take our tea with anyone so spidery. So there they were. They flew right by. Within the shadows of the room, just peeking from behind a broom. Five grinning faces bobbed and peered. Miss Spider smiled, her heart was cheered. Descending for a closer look, she danced into the gloomy nook, but sadly found those jolly mugs belonged, alas, to rubber bugs. She got so excited, they looked so friendly, but they were just rubber, just some fake ones, some toys. Some ants strode in, they numbered six, but ants with spiders will not mix. She brewed them from hips of roses. The proud platoon turned up their noses. Mm, those ants, they weren't interested in tea at all. No, they weren't. A fine bouquet concealed its prize of seven dainty butterflies. Miss Spider, watching from the wall, was not aware of them at all. Look at those butterflies. There's seven of them. Right, and they're all on flowers because butterflies really like flowers. The tea table was set for eight with saucers, cups, and silver plate. The cakes were fresh, the service gleamed, yet no one would arrive, it seemed. Her company was in de no demand, left her a cup for every hand. Nobody came, and so of course spiders had eight eight hands or eight feet, and she had eight cups, a cup for every one. Nine spotted moths kept safe and warm and shelter from a thunderstorm. They stood beneath an open sash and watched the jagged lightning flash. Miss Spider dropped down on a thread, a silver tray above her head. She hoped to please them, but instead, they flew away in mortal dread. Because she scared them and they thought she might try to eat them, so they all flew away. They've left me all alone, she cried. She dabbed her eyes and sadly sighed. It's plain no bug will ever stay. Her tears splashed down upon the tray. She was very sad. Nobody wanted to be her friend. Ten tiny steaming cups of tea were perched atop her trembling knee. She sipped and sobbed, then heard a cough, and turned to see a small wet moth. A fragile thing, so soaked by rain, his wings too damp to fly again. Look, he's all scared. What's gonna happen? I don't know. She smiled and took a checkered cloth to cloak the frail and thankful moth. They talked and snacked on tea and pie until his tiny wings were dry. 
Then lifting him with her tender care, she tossed him gently in the air. Look, he took some pie and flew away. I like pie. The moth told Ike, then Ike told May, who went from bug to bug to say, there is no reason for alarm. She never meant us any harm. So later on that afternoon, assembled in the dining room, 11 insects came to tea to share Miss Spider's courtesy. Look at all those insects there, all coming around to have some tea. That's really nice. 12 tender violets in a vase presented at Miss Spider's place. Set by her chair so neatly spun, she munched the blossoms one by one. Her friends were glad to watch her feast upon the floral centerpiece. It was a great relief to see she ate just flowers and drank just tea. Miss Spider's reputation grew before too long our hostess knew each bug who crawled or hopped or flew and all their lovely children too. Look at that. She just ate some flowers and all the bugs liked her. So I hope you enjoyed uh, reading Miss Spider's Tea Party with me. And you can see that uh, she gets along with some insects pretty well. Uh, so we, of course, have a little friend that we would like to show you, Miss Spider herself. So let me get her right now. All right. Now, this is a spider that we would see right here in North America. Can you see her all right? Now, this right here, this is Arana, and she is a red kneed tarantula uh, from the southwestern portion of the United States, so in like New Mexico and Arizona and some of those areas. And of course, when we look at her, we see why she's a, a red kneed or orange kneed tarantula. Sometimes it's called because we see all of those spots right up on her knees. And of course, when we look at her body, we see uh, all of her legs there. Now, spiders are arachnids and arachnids have eight legs. But if you look very closely on this spider, it might look like she has 10 legs. That's because she has these little what we call pedipalps in the front. And those little tiny legs actually help to put food in her mouth and help to catch the insects that uh, she would like to eat. So unlike Miss Spider's Tea Party, uh, this one actually would eat insects. Uh, and so, of course, they are able to use, uh, they do have some fangs with some venom. Uh, and that venom there is not dangerous to people. So I'm not in any, at any risk right now. Uh, their venom really doesn't hurt humans at all. Uh, and so they would be able to put that into the insect and then they would be able to uh, come back later and actually drink all the liquid out of that insect. Uh, but that is part of uh, them helping us out sometimes because some insects can be kind of harmful to people. Uh, they can carry certain diseases and things. So spiders can actually help us out by keeping some of that insect population down. Now, when we look very carefully on her body, uh, we'll see all of these hairs on the body. And when we look at those hairs, those hairs actually help protect her. Uh, so uh, if anyone knows Spider-Man, the cartoon character, right, or the comic book character, uh, we know that Spider-Man has spidey senses, right? Well, those senses actually come from the hairs on the spider's body uh, because they're able to pick up everything from vibrations to movements in the air and all of that. And so that helps to give them an early warning sign uh, to keep them safe. Now, of course, when we think about a spider, we think about their webs. Now, you probably can't see this right now, but she is spinning kind of some webs on my hand. And we can see these two little things right there. Those are called her spinnerets. Now, the spinnerets are the things that actually spin the web. And so she would be able to lay a nice ground web. So this isn't the kind of spider that would put a, a web up into the corner of your room or anything like that. They lay their web on the ground and that would help to trap insects so that they could come in, get them later. Um, so when we think about spiders and we think about all the things that uh, people are afraid of, uh, there's reasons why some people might be afraid of spiders. Uh, they might be afraid that they would bite them, but spiders aren't really that interested in biting people. Some people might be afraid of them because they have so many legs, but those legs are pretty amazing because it helps them to move across almost any surface. They can climb across rocks. They can climb up glass sometimes, even walls. Uh, so that makes them pretty amazing. So I think if we just sit and focus on how incredible animals 
animals actually are and how well adapted to their environment they are, then maybe we could probably come to appreciate them a little bit more. Just remember to give spiders their space, uh, and if you want to put them outside, go ahead and just catch them up in a cup or something and you can put them outside. We don't have to hurt spiders uh, because spiders are really here to help us more than they are to hurt us. So we hope that you guys have a great day and we hope that you enjoyed our story. Everybody have a good day. Bye-bye.